Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the president of Benchmark Metals, Inc., Jim Gregg. How you doing today, Jim? I'm good, Rich. Thanks for having uh, myself and Benchmark on your program. My pleasure. We're really excited to have you on the show and have our community learn more about your company. Jim, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Benchmark Metals, Inc.? Yeah, so Benchmark's a a gold and silver explorer that's rapidly moving to a mining decision in north central British Columbia, Canada. Uh, My team and my partners that are not only on the board, but project managers have worked together on some exceedingly good uh, metals ventures in the past. And uh, we all convened and combined here in 2018 to launch Benchmark Metals. And over the course of four years, our technical team and the you know, financial experts have vaulted this company very, very quickly with great results and a three million ounce gold and silver resource. Fantastic. Really excited to learn more about your management. So can you tell us about the management at Benchmark Metals and especially their past success in the public markets? Yeah, absolutely. So our our senior uh, chairman and CEO of the company is a close personal friend. We've worked closely on many endeavors together in the past. Uh, But I suppose one of John's flagship endeavors has been um, in the Yukon. And so John was an original founder and director at Kamenak. And Kamenak sold their coffee project to Goldcorp. Uh, one of the largest gold mining companies in the world in excess of $500 million. Um, So this was a large win for shareholders. Um, I've been involved in multiple other endeavors, but um, in recent history, one company called Keegan Resources. And Keegan is a stock that ran from 25 cents to close to $10 in a very short time period. Uh, Over that period, we went from zero ounces of gold to in excess of 5 million ounces of gold and put a mine into production. So, you know, it's not just John and myself, but there's there's other senior members on the board and on the executive, um, you know, we range in age anywhere from about 30 to 60 years. So we've got some younger blood in the in the threshold. Um, But we do have a compelling history of making money for investors in the metal space. That could be copper, gold, silver, and other metals. But we have an exceedingly good track record of finding uh, new discoveries or finding existing projects that need a new technical eye on them. And, um, you know, the board and the management at Benchmark are also big shareholders. So, We're not about salaries. We're all about moving the share price with results. I love to hear that. And I know our community will as well. Now, the company recently announced new results from seven infill and expansion drill holes from the northern portion of the Cliff Creek deposit. Can you tell us a little bit about this drill program and what it means for benchmark metals? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we put out some exceedingly good numbers. Actually, every week we've been pushing out some good numbers for the past month. The drill numbers there that you mentioned are all about expanding the existing resource. Um, They're infill drilling that is filling in gaps and also pushing out the thresholds of the pit shell. But I think um, more exciting to those drill numbers is something that we've just put out as we speak, uh, near 102 meters of 5.8 grams gold equivalent. And that begins underfoot from surface. So this is another infill type number, but it fills in the gap where we lacked information. And what it's doing is providing more data to increase the current resource and perhaps even increase the grade. These are stellar numbers. Uh, There's very few companies that have 100 meters of over five grams from surface. 
Five gram material is underground mineable material, but this is in an open pit. So it will provide some big benefits in the economics. Jim, can you talk about today's press release regarding the company's best drill hole? I would say this drill hole is probably in our top five, if not number one. But, uh, you know, near 102 meters of 5.8 grams starting from surface is something to be proud of and will have a big impact, not only on the share price, I think, over this next week, but certainly will have an impact on the updated mineral resource estimate that's expected uh, probably early March. Fantastic. If Benchmark Metals were to compare itself to its competitors in the mining sector, what would you say sets you guys apart? Uh, we're in a tier one jurisdiction. Canada is a politically uh, risk-free, safe jurisdiction. You can build a mine in Canada, you can get it into production, and you don't need worries of um, losing your license. We're road accessible. You can actually drive vehicles straight to our site. Um, and in December of last year, so just over a you know, let's say roughly two months ago, the company completed a brokered uh, financing for $40 million. So there's $40 million in cash sitting in our treasury and that will pay for all of 2022's work. We do not need to go back to the market to raise more capital. So we're in an enviable position with a very good gold and silver product. Absolutely love hearing that you have cash in the bank. That's extremely important. Can you go through the capital structure of Benchmark Metals for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional investment alongside more retail investors? Sure. So there's um, approximately 200 million shares outstanding. Uh, we trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange. As I mentioned, there's $40 million Canadian in working capital in the Treasury. Uh, We've already have investment from some major institutions. Um, that includes the likes of um, Van Eck, Franklin Templeton, and Merck Capital out of the US. Um, but in December, we also inserted a major mining company. So there's a gold miner called Yamana. Uh, Yamana invested and owns 4% of the outstanding stock in Benchmark. And this investment from Yamana provides a couple things. Validation of the project, uh, that it is um, certainly a world-class endeavor, but also validation to the management operating and moving this project forward. And look, uh, having a major company invest in your company um, also opens the realm of possibilities of perhaps a takeover. Uh, at this point, it is an investment, but companies like Yamana Gold only invest in companies that they see value in. So uh, there's lots of opportunities moving forward here in 2022. Jim, if there was one thing that you would want shareholders and potential shareholders that are watching this interview and this video to know about, benchmark metals today, what would that be? I'd say there is an opportunity to invest now, soon, and watch share appreciation grow. We will be putting out continued drill results that will feed into an updated resource estimate. And that will be followed by a preliminary economic assessment. And this PEA will show the economics and the engineering to build a mine. This is all within a three to six month time frame. So there's a lot of big milestones and news events here to move the value in this company. We love to hear about those catalysts that can make the stock move. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Benchmark Metals? So I would go directly to our website, www.benchmarkmetals.com. There's access um, to my email address and a direct phone line to me and also um, the colleagues that I work with closely here at Benchmark. We communicate often, we do respond to emails and we do respond to phone calls. So we welcome any um, interest. Super excited to do this interview today with the president of Benchmark Metals, 
Jim Gregg. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe that this is a company that is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. Put BNCH on your radar in Canada, BNCHF in America, put it on your watch list. And thank you for joining us today, the president, Jim Gregg of Benchmark Metals. Thank you for joining us today, Jim. Rich, a pleasure. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back on the show if you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss. We'd love to invite you back onto our show so that we can break that news to our community. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching because we bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live with the president of Benchmark Metals, Jim Gregg, saying have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.